team participated in their longest scrimmage of the spring in front of former players and family. True Blue reporter Jerem Jordan talked with the former greats. Friday, April 4th, BYU held its fourth annual Alumni Day, where the past met the present. It's sort of like a big mission reunion with you know, a bunch of meatheads, so it's fun. 900 alumni and their families attended the day, taking part in a fireside tour, meeting with Bronco, a team scrimmage, and a barbecue. Great, you know, I love coming back here. BYU is a special place. So to come back here and see a lot of players you played with and, you know, talk about old memories, talk about old stories, it's, it's a great time. It's, it's a lot of fun. Relationships are the best part about football anyway. I mean, I love catching touchdowns, don't get me wrong. That's, that's fun, especially in a big game, but... Uh, seeing people is a lot better than catching touchdowns. Yeah, to reconnect with old friends and to come meet new people. And obviously, listen to the team and see the coaches and see where the uh, state of the football program is. It's, it's all pretty much an all encompassing experience. So it's fun. And this, that's what this is about, is a reconnection to a place that brought them all together and then to friendships that were formed because of that. Current players understand the importance of those who have gone before them. I think it's just a fun deal for us to meet all the former players and to because, you know, we're really, we stand on their shoulders and we're trying to represent them in the program. So, you know, it's a blessing for us to be here and to have them here supporting us. It's a lot of fun. Like Coach Manal says a lot, we stand on their shoulders, you know. We, they built it up to what it is now and we're just trying to keep it going. And you definitely know who the, uh, the superstars are and, and the guys who were, who were the studs back then and who the jerseys are up on the wall in the locker room and stuff like that. So it's kind of fun to see them. Bronco Mendenhall began the yearly tradition as an effort to bring about his theme of tradition, spirit and honor. Now he not only has an increasingly bigger crowd coming back each year, but a larger fan base as well, believing in what he's doing. Bronco, he is the real deal. It took me a while to buy in. I didn't, I wasn't fully invested, in, and uh, but I am now. I think it's great. He's doing a great job. Has he given you a fully invested shirt, or do you have one? No, I don't have one. So if anyone sees this, I sure would like one of those. After back-to-back 11-win -back seasons, I asked several alumni if BYU has a good chance of making a BCS bowl this year. Uh, I don't know about that. Yeah, you know, you got to do everything perfect. You know, you can't have any missteps. Uh, coming from the Mountain West, of course, there's no forgiveness. Of course they do. I think they have a great schedule. It's solid, but also it's a beautiful schedule. They can pretty much run the table. But you got to be realistic. I mean, running the table is going to be a heck of an accomplishment for them. You know, I think there's a chance for us, and there's expectations for us, and I think they believe in us, and so we're just doing everything we can to get there. BCS or not, Chris Hoke is happy he can at least watch the games now from his home in Pittsburgh. Yeah, I'm kind of glad they changed that old, uh, you know, the, the MTN station. Now we can watch those games. It was tough before, but now we can watch a little more. Saturday, April 12th, BYU will wrap up spring ball with the blue and white game, and after that, take the summer off, and then fall camp begins in August. From Lavelle Edwards Stadium, I'm Jerem Jordan for True Blue.